wanted to ask, uh, because you were filming a lot of, in a lot of different and interesting places, what was your favorite set to be on, or maybe favorite place that you got to visit because of the movies? A great question. So either your favorite set or favorite place to visit uh, during filming. We went to, we got to go to Liverpool. That's where we shot um, that Macy sequence where we're chasing down the demiguys and the alchemy and all that. That was really, I love it. They might not know what Macy's is. Oh, it's like a, the big department store. Yeah, right? yeah. I, I don't know. So, uh, and then, uh, but on set, I loved during the second movie um, because first they built Manhattan and <laughs> on the, the lot, they basically built blocks and blocks of, of Manhattan from the 20s. So I, being from New York, I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> I flew all the way from New York and I came to New York. <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, in the second movie, they built Paris. So you can, you can stand on, I would go and have lunch and just stand over this little meridian and I'd look one way and I'd be like, New York, Paris, New York. <laughs> It was like time traveling, you know? Yeah, it was awesome. And um, um, then it was Berlin, yeah? Berlin's my favorite. Oh my goodness. The 1920s signs, the cinema, that set. It's, it's, it is phenomenal when you're on a big set like that. And it looks so real with all the snow and you're walking. And you're like, this is like being in a dream. Like when you were little, watching movies, like big film set, MG, you know, and you're suddenly there thinking, oh my God, this is genius. Yeah, the set builders are incredible. And when I did the case scene, the detail that goes into those sets, they made leather handbags, leather shoes, purses, everything just to go in that set. It's so detailed. It, they're pieces of art. They really are. I also love the bakery, Jacob's Bakery. Oh, I loved that! Because, A, just it's, it's the first set that we were in. We, we filmed that, uh, the last scene of the first film as the, the first thing that we, we filmed a long time ago. And they had a real baked goods in there, so it just smelled like pastries. It was so lovely. You want to hear something crazy? What? So, <laughs> my great, my great grandfather was a baker on the Lower East Side, on Rivington and Stanton Street. No way. Yeah. Vogler's famous pumpernickel. No. Vogler's famous pumpernickel was a thing in the 1920s. Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. So guess where my bakery is? Stanton and Rivington. It's on the same freaking street. Wow. So I, I talk about a time warp. Hmm. You didn't tell Joe that. It just like that. Joe? Well, she wouldn't have anything to do with that sign, I suppose. I don't. I never got a chance to tell her that, but I said it. That's incredible. I mean, I, I was just shocked by it. By the second movie, they put up the street signs. I was like, holy shit, it's Stanton yeah. and Rivington. It's crazy. It's wonderful. Of course. We'll say it again. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So, well, all because of your question. Pumpernickel is uh, dark uh, bread, like, you know, it's dark brown bread. It sounds like a fairy tale. <laughs> it is a fairy tale. <laughs> Did someone just say that? Yeah, Pumpernickel? Hey, there you go. What? German bread? It is! It all comes Vogler, back to Vogler, Germany. Vogler, I mean, where you, it's a, that's, that's where it's all, I'm, that's an Austrian name, you know? It's like, it's, uh, it's from a similar uh, region. Back. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Poppy, you, you, you were going with Berlin as well, I think? Uh, did I catch that right? Your favorite place or set? Uh, when, when we say Berlin, we mean uh, Leavesden Studios yes. at Watford. <laughs> Just off the M11. Everything was Watford, yeah. <laughs> Except for Liverpool was not Watford. It's a magical place. It's, um, the way we film the movies is right next to the Harry Potter world, the Wizarding World. I don't know if any of you have visited the Warner Brothers Studio pause. Uh, we film the movies there and they create Berlin, Paris, New York on the film sets there. So. The level of realism is 
Yes, it is. I, I remember in my first film, which was Crimes of Grindelwald, we were filming in the French Ministry of Magic, and I found myself opening a drawer of one of the desks in the ministry, just to see. And inside was personalized... Can you guys keep it down? Thank there you. was personalized stationery with Ministry of Magic stamped with beautiful pens. It was in drawers that you would never open, that would never be seen, but the, the attention to detail was there, just to make it feel real for everybody in that world. Every and single set. Incredible. Every set. On the, yeah. um, in the uh, New York Ministry of Magic, there was a wand polisher that was actually going. It wasn't, a, that wasn't CGI. And the elevator, the lift worked. Um, yeah, there's a, it was just extraordinary. The, the craftsmanship on these films is, is really, it, I mean, you guys are, a lot of you are into cosplay, like the costumes oh, are, I was about to say, the costumes are impeccable. They're I incredible. Mean, yeah. And like, there's just so much um, care that goes into it. It's not like, we, we're not showing up like this and they go like, whoa, we fix you in post, you know. It's, <laughs> it's really like, the way you lean the lines and like, on my jacket, like the, the seam was this really special seam that wrapped around my arm and I mean the, the fabrics that are used and it, it really is like the best of the best. It's it's quite extraordinary. So when you're on those sets, on every single level, you're surrounded by such talent. Yeah, it's it's a it's a real pleasure, you know. So great. Yeah, thank you so much. So I think we're almost out of time, but